Oh, we're doing beta mode. Let's just do it. No newspaper, just straight into it, I guess. How does this look for you guys? Oh, it looks terrible. But when I get out of, but when I go into OBS, it looks slightly smoother. <laughs> and they're already gone. That's great. Oh, the cameras start doing that. I can't. Shit. Xavier doesn't have a cape. Mike doesn't have his hat, and Mindy's a bit different. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's nice. They have a sound effect when they're still there. Was that? Yeah, that is him. Okay. Oh, the office still follows me even if I'm out of OBS. Oh, even if I'm in OBS. Oh. You're already back there? How? Jeez. Jesus Christ is what you guys have to see. God, I feel bad for you guys. This is the footage you guys have to see. I am terribly sorry. This is shit. Yeah, what is this thing? It's like a fake Mr. Minoka. Yeah, see, it's a fake Mr. Minoka. That's cool. And a bit annoying, I just now realize. Be gone, white fucker. Let's do task one. Oh! We're just straight into night two, I guess. That's fine by me. Okay. So night two is basically the same as, in, as the main game, night two. Can I recharge my power then? Alright, so let's think about this. I can't recharge my powers, so everything I do is fucking risky. Great. Fuck you mean you're already there. Also, how does Mike climb the ceilings?
Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't slam on the door. Alright, uh, 4 a.m. I'm fine. I haven't died. I want a burrito. Alright, time to exit out. Oh, time to exit out the game for a bit. Oh, or just unopen the window for a bit. <coughs> right now, what you guys are watching is like 27 FPS. 29 now. 28. When and, and when I'm and I'm playing it, it goes down to like below twenty sometimes. I do genuinely hope that you guys, what you guys are watching, is good. easy yeah okay, I'm gonna check out the footage and see if like anything is wrong night three here we go How do you work? To be honest, night three was wasn't either interesting yeah usually i make a lot of cuts a lot of edits you know that type of bullshit but and i'll just fast forward to show you guys what night three was basically like so yeah usually i just check left and right and give me a minute <laughs> shit sorry <clears throat> sorry but yeah usually i check check left or right and just close the door if there's someone there and listen to audio cues that's pretty that's pretty much it for like the entire premise of night three because all of the main characters are active on night three so yeah there's not much to do on night three i win
night four. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. That sucks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. I, I needed that. Thank you. I'll try to uh, pause this for a bit. Once again, nothing much really happening. Three night four, just characters attack much quicker. That's pretty much it, honestly. This did happen, actually. Hold on. I'm gonna dub this little fucker coffee because we have milk. Why not coffee? Give power back. Interesting. cameras That's nice.
how did he... Okay, I guess he could just teleport anywhere he wants. He went to camera 11 and then jumped 10. I've seen that dude so many times. Jeez, how how often does how often does he appear? I should probably mention this now, but that was Shock Javier, as the community dubs him. I just like I just like to call him Electroverb. Electroverb. Elec that sounds terrible. There, am I we're going Shock Javier? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. What I meant by that is like I saw him like three times. But most of I had to cut like the other two times because family entered the room, so yeah. Let's do this night six. Okay. I assume that don't look at him will only applies if he's in my room fully. Also, what the hell happened to my power? I had nothing, I was doing nothing. What the hell? What is that? What is that thing? <sighs> oh. So yeah, the game throws a couple of new friends our way, you know. I'll name them. The Beast and... I have... No fucking clue what the other one is. I am just gonna call him Spoink, the ink, the ink fucker. I don't fucking know what it is. Anyways, the beast will attack through anyway. Just close the correct door. For example, if he's in on the um, adjacent room cameras, close the one he's at. If he's in cam ten, close the window. And for the Inky spree, inky binky, inky binky slushy bunky monster, whatever the fuck that thing is. I have no idea fucking what to do for that fucker either. I just close the door he teleports to, and that weird black guy, I don't know. 
Just close the door he's at. Wait, which do I close that or No, not you. You leave me alone, please. Nice. I win. I'm just that goaded, bro. I'm just that goaded. No extras? Okay, just custom night. Alright. Just these eight. Or six. So I'm just gonna say this now. Uh, six tw twelve mode, that does not exist. I did all of this for nothing, basically. You don't get a badge, you don't get a star, you don't unlock a secret knight. No, nothing. What you're supposed to do is put everyone on the custom knight on eight. My dumbass thought you had to beat it. Beat 612 mode because that made logical sense, right? So, not only did I basically just beat 612 mode thinking it would do something, but I wasted like eight minutes. I kid you not, like nine, eight minutes of this entire recording was me attempting 612 mode. I did beat it. As you guys are seeing right now, I'm f beating the shit out of these fucking tunes. They have no chance of beating me. They're getting their asses fucking, um, they're getting, fuck. 
they're getting railed. God damn. Shit. They're getting destroyed. There we go. Really? You, you, you thought railed was a good one? <sighs> okay. Yeah, they're getting their, they're getting fucking destroyed anyways. Yeah, I, be, I beat 6 12 more. Yeah, see, it didn't do anything. What you're supposed to put, do is put everyone on 8. Anyways, back to the game. So, uh, night. Yeah, there's a night 8. <coughs> great. Just great. Night 8 is just a harder night 6. Honestly, that is pretty much it. Everyone from night 8... Oh, not five, five, everyone from night 6 is active. Just way more aggressive to deal with. Evil Javier is... St honestly, he's pretty much the same. He's still a pain in the ass to deal with. A little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, that spooshy dookie biggie biggie binky buka tuka chikun debuda bit monster. Whatever the fuck that thing is. Uh, yeah, uh, he's still around. Same thing with that uh, black black guy. Oh yeah, so is the beast. After I did some research, and apparently Javier hates the fucking beast for some reason, which is funny to me, <laughs> because I kind of like the beast. <laughs> it's a funny character, to be honest. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna skip over the entirety of night eight. I am gonna let you guys enjoy like half of five a.m. and the entirety of six a.m. But as you can see, I'm losing terribly because of how many, because of the amount of speed, the amount of energy drinks these fuckers take. Let's go. Night 8 complete. Am I missing something? Wait, where's that? We have even beta, beta evil Javier, beta destroyed, beta soul eater. God or something, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Unfortunately, for most of the recording, for most of the maximum attempts, eh, my family is preoccupied talking in the background. So I guess I'll give a bit of commentary. Night. Mac, what the fuck? Why do you say night? Just say max mode, you fucking idiot. Anyways, max mode is 
This max mode is a lot, a lot easier than the main game max mode. Mainly because of the two character difference and because of the light sound effect. That may seem minor, but trust me, it heavily helps a lot. Alright. I'm gonna give some tips. I'm gonna give some tips. Mic is your main, could be one of your main power management problems. Mic he attacks very often and doesn't have a sound effect for you when he's leaving. So, what I do sometimes is I count to 10 or to 15 and check if he's still there. If he's still there, close it immediately. If not, just leave it open. Now, up, up there, Shock Javier again. Fucking jackass. Anyways. <coughs> Anyways, um, Minoka and Violet are not problems at all. As you can see right now, my FPS frame, my frame rate is terrible and it is dropping below my gravestone. Anyways, like I was saying, Minoka and Violet, not problems at all. Just check the light and it'll be gone. Same goes for Violet. Not vi fucking, for Mindy. Mindy is basically just, uh, the, she just attacks from both ways. Javier does not a problem at all. You won't see him much during the night. You'll see Mike a uh, shit ton though. Maddie, uh, Matt, Maddie, he's not that much of a problem. Yes, he can be easily missed if you do not like, if you're not paying attention or anything like that. So yeah. Now that's pretty much the entirety of the main cast. For the rest, Evil Javier. He will catch you, he can catch you off guard, but as long as you're quick with the cameras, unlike me, I'm slow like a fucking turtle, you'll be fine. They're destroyed. He takes some, okay. If you hear one, the first metal sound, he'll start in the, in the, the first metal sound, he'll start in camp four. Second, camp three. Third, camp 11. And in the fourth, he'll either attack or he'll go to, or he'll leave and go to the camera right next to it being hold on i'm an idiot uh you, you know it just the camera like next outside the 11. beast beast is loud and annoying he will drop a fucking middle pipe next to your goddamn ears it doesn't have like any relevance of where it's from it just drops and it kills your ears it can catch you off guard and it can catch you by surprise it could basically just screw you over if you're easily like uh, triggered and finally whatever that spooshy douchey boogity 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 monster is after playing with it a little i've learned that the weird head black head thing it's not really it it's a weird thing i don't know how it did deal with it still but i do know that the that the weird eyeball guy yeah you just have to like close the door on him pretty simple honestly but yeah now power management <coughs> you are going to get either lucky or unlucky as fuck like and fortunately for me i was lucky enough to survive after doing a bit of dig, after be doing a bit of experimenting, I've learned that Javier's music box lasts like around half an hour, half an in-game hour. So you could, so if you make it at six a.m., make sure you're like a good amount of good amount of time in the six a.m. before, uh, you know, running out of power. Manage your power as much as you can. What I mean by this is sometimes. Wait like a second or two before closing the door on a character. Once you and you'll save a bit of power. Now, this challenge would not be possible without the uh twenty five percent power thing. That thing is crucial to the run, and without it, you are pretty much more than screwed. Now, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. Basically, just ignore Evil Javier for most of the night, and one and don't worry about him until like the re until like you're around halfway through the night, because then 
he becomes more and more of a problem. So yeah, that will be it for my commentary. Back to the gameplay. Okay. <sighs> and just like that, I hold on. Let me let me go on my source YouTube.com. Well, folks. I have done it. I have beaten the game. S six stars in the main game and the other four on the beta mode. I'm gonna see if I unlocked anything new. You. This design is cool, I actually like it. That's Uli, right? That has- that's Uli. I think that's how you say his name. That's Uli, that's Uli. U Uli Lee. I don't know how you say it. Finish this guy as well. All right, well, folks, I've done it. After a year of this game being, of this game existing, taunting me in my fault, my download folder, I've finally done it. Folks, I've finally beaten a week with Javier remake. Classic main mode and beta mode. Now, what is left? Eventually, I will tackle Javier's two. Javier's two. 
the way I will split that video up is the main game, the main six nights, maybe double trouble in that game, in that in that video, and then the extra game content, content, uh, content, yeah. For example, if I don't beat double trouble, I'm doing double trouble in that video. Night eight, mistreated mode, and negative night. So, is that it? Unfortunately for this game, yes. I heard that this, I heard that mistreated mode is getting an update for JBS too. So, can't wait for that. Anyways, folks, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you all soon. And remember, stay. Remember, stay stupid, stay chaotic, and don't do anything stupid or chaotic in real life. You'll go to prison.